So hey guys, I am going to show you how to make a simple stretch bracelet just like these using tiger's eye beads. These are tiger's eye beads and these are 10 millimeter beads. You can actually get these beads in your local craft store. I got these tiger's eye beads from Michael. Sorry, from Michael's. They are the perfect size 10 millimeter beads. If you're just starting out are the perfect size to make bracelets. And the reason is they're not too big and they're not too small. You can wear one at a time or you can stack them on like this. Let me show you guys. These are from my own personal stash. So these are my tiger's eye beads. And one thing with gemstones, they last a very long time. So even if your bracelet happens to break, you can gather the beads up and you can restring because they do not break gemstones, do not you know, semi precious stones rather, they do not fade. So let us get into making this bracelet. So, guys, to start off with your um, stretchy bracelet, you're going to need stretchy cord. This right here is a one millimeter uh, stretch magic cord. I use Stretch Magic. I've been using Stretch Magic now for a number of years. It has always held up. I've only had two issues, two mishaps with my bracelets um, breaking, and that's because I did not pre-stretch the cord. So for a size 7 bracelet, you will need at least 18 10 millimeter beads, okay? And once you start getting used to beads and their measurements, you will know what 10 millimeter beads look like. It's going to be very important for you to do that. Um, everything you learn over time. Don't try to learn everything all at once. So I already have a piece of the stretch magic cord cut to about 12 inches because you need to leave room to tie the knot. So this I'm pre-stretching the cord. It is very important that you pre-stretch your cord. Very, very important. This will help to prolong the life of the bracelet. So you pre-stretch just like this. And now I am getting ready to string my beads onto the bracelet. Before I do that, I am going to show you a bead stopper that I use sometimes. So you can put this on the end of your bead to prevent the beads from rolling away. Let me kind of show you how. Okay, so there it is. It went on. If you can see it, okay. So I put my bead stopper on to prevent my beads from falling off and now I am getting ready to string my stretch um, bracelet. And like I said before, for this bracelet, seven inch bracelet, you are going to need about 18 10 millimeter beads to do your bracelet. So you just string them on if you have a particular pattern. If you're starting out for the first time, you don't have to worry about the bracelet having patterns or all of these fancy uh, spacer beads. I usually make my bracelet with spacer beads. However, uh, starting out, you want to start as simple as possible until you get into it. And then you start adding your own flair to your own design. And that will let your design stand out. But for this tutorial, I'm just showing you how to start with a simple stretchy bracelet. 18 beads. I am not even counting. Let's see how many beads I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So 18 beads for this um, seven inch bracelet. You want 18 beads in order for it to be 7 inches and 18 10 millimeter beads. And you just string it on. So I am going to speed the video up a little bit to show you what the results look like. I am actually going to add a nice little center bead. Simple center bead. I actually got this. These beads actually came in different colors. It's clay and they put a little speck of bling inside there so they can make a nice little center bead. I got this from Amazon. I'm not quite sure exactly what store. I would have to look at it again. Okay, I had to cut the camera for a minute because I had to focus on what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep the camera in focus so you all can see. So I'm tying the knot here. All right, I'm tying the knot and then I am going to bring the knot around right here because I want to hide the cord inside of the um, inside of the, the bigger bead, the center bead. So I'm going to tie, okay, and I'm going to tie two times, okay? So I am tying it twice. And then what I'm going to do, let me put this down for a minute. I am going to add a little dab of glue onto the knot. This, you can also get this from Michael's or any craft store. 
all right so I am going to put the glue right here just a little bit onto the knot and this is what I do I tie and then I am going to cut you don't want to cut it too put it back in focus you don't want to cut it too small too short rather just enough I don't know if you can see it this is my first tutorial bear with me and then I am going to pull right here I don't like to see this left open that's what I don't like to see so I am gently pulling that through inside of that do you see how that disappeared look at this isn't that pretty <laughs> not bad for my first tutorial anyway guys leave me a comment let me know what you want what you want to uh what else you would like to know if you are a jeweler also you can leave me tips and advice and what how you make your bracelets and um the items that you use once again stretchy bracelet very simple you can make your own i also have an etsy shop if you don't have time to make your own jewelry you can check out my etsy shop at uh jewel of mind uh slash etsy.com jewel of mind so that's my etsy shop thank you guys for watching